Okay, so ang topic natin ngayon ay great zero selling and the navigation. Great circle selling, yan ang ating uh, calculate. Ang ating mga i-calculate dito ay ang grid circle distance, initial course, latitude of vertex, longitude of vertex, at final course. Then, yung waypoints in each uh, point, no? So, in our exercise, uh, we have alteration of every 15 degrees waypoint, no? Okay, so, start na tayo. The circle distance is to find that find the total distance initial course of the grid circle. We have the initial point A and B, latitude 41 degrees south, and longitude 175 degrees east. Our destination is B, 33 degrees south, and 071 degrees. 30 minutes rest. Okay, so in order to solve the grid circle distance, we have to first take the D lat and D long. Okay, so our D lat is 0, 0800 0, 0, north. So direction going north. north. And the DLO is 113 degrees 30 minutes east. So, if we have a different uh, name, we have to add and if it is exceed in 180, we have to subtract to 360. So, the answer of DLO is 113 degrees and 30 minutes and the direction is east, east 30. So next, our solution is cosine the circle distance. So every time of calculation, we have to inverse one cosine. So the formula is cosine DLO uh, multiplied by cosine latitude 1 and cosine latitude 2 plus sine latitude 1 and multiply by sine latitude 2. Okay, so the representation is next. You know, cosine 113 degrees, 30 minutes. Multiply by cosine 41 degrees, which is the latitude 1. Cosine latitude 2, 33 degrees. Add to sine latitude 1, 41 degrees. And sine latitude 2, 33 degrees. So inverse cosine, after inversing in cosine, we will have 83.97709. And you can multiply that in 60 so that to obtain the great circle distance because one latitude is equivalent to uh, 60 minutes. So it was uh, multiplied by 60 minutes, uh, 60 miles, 60, 60. So grid circle distance is 5038.6 nautical mile. Okay, next we are going to solve for grid circle initial course. Formula is sine initial course angle, cosine latitude 2. Multiply by sine DLO, sine distance over sine distance in degree. The representation below is cosine 33 degrees, which is the latitude 2, and the DLO of sine 113 degrees and 13 minutes over sine distance 83.97709. Inverse sine and inverse in degrees. Okay, so in degrees we will have 50 degrees and 39 minutes. Peace. 
southerly east no? south east so we have to uh, deduct to 180 to come up with the uh, course of 129 degrees 20.5 minutes okay so the next we have to solve for latitude of vertex cosine of latitude vertex is equal to cosine latitude 1 multiplied by sine initial course so sine, uh, cosine 41 degrees latitude and multiply it to sine initial force of 50 degrees 39 minutes and 30 seconds which is 0 0.583677 inverse cosine and inverse in degrees to obtain the degrees in latitude of vertex. So this vertex, you have to remember this. We have to go to use this. We are going to use this in calculation of each waypoint of the vertex. So next, we have to calculate the longitude of vertex. Uh, sine DLO of vertex is equal to cosine initial course uh, over sine latitude of vertex. Okay, so our initial course, as we calculated, to sine 50 degrees, 39 minutes and 30 seconds over sine 54 degrees, 17 minutes and 25 seconds is, uh, this is, correction, this is our latitude of vertex and equal to 0 0.780733 inverse sine and inverse in degree which is equal to 51 degree 19 minutes and 40 minutes uh, 40 seconds is then you have to add your longitude one no? or your initial longitude to obtain the longitude of the vertex and we have a value of 226 degrees 19 minutes or point four. Then you have to subtract in 360 degrees to get the longitude of vertex, which is equal to 133 degrees for zero minutes 20 seconds west. Okay, to obtain the final course, cosine final course angle, which is equivalent to sine latitude one. Subtract to sine latitude 2, then multiply to cosine distance over cosine latitude 2 multiplied by sine distance. Okay, and represented below is sine 41 degrees latitude 1, sine latitude minus sine latitude 2, 33 degrees, multiplied by cosine 83 degrees, 58 minutes and 37 seconds which is the distance and over to cosine latitude 2 33 degrees multiply by sine distance which is 83 degrees 58 minutes and 37 seconds equal to 0 0.71808 inverse cosine and then inverse in degree no, inverse degree and you will come up with final course of 44 degrees and 6 minutes is no, or round off of 0 0.45 degrees ok, rules to name the initial and final course of a grid circle summary, the direction of course is thoroughly since we are in initial course in the south direction we have the southeast direction on our initial course and our final course is northeast which is true no? here in the south southern hemisphere 
an easterly force. Okay, so this is the rules in naming the uh, initial and final force. Okay, so last part is our waypoints for inter intervals of difference of longitude of 15 degrees from departure position alpha. So starting from the alpha position, we have to divide the intervals of 15 degrees. Okay, waypoints for interval uh, degrees. The uh, difference of longitude of 15 degrees from initial position. <clears throat> we have the initial is 175 degrees. And the longitude of vertex is 133 degrees and 40 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, so latitude of any position or X position can be calculated by formula latitude vertex equal to latitude tan j close parenthesis cosine del difference of longitude multiplied by tangent latitude of vertex okay in our presentation let's uh, make the tabulation we have the first column representing the position it was the longitude is the second column, which is divided into 15 degrees from the initial up to the end. So third column is the value of difference in longitudes, which is the uh, from longitude x, which is from the second column, less to the longitude of vertex. So this is value on each uh, interval of longitude. No? This is the value of difference in longitude. So upon calculation of the difference of longitude, you can now calculate the latitude x in its interval by the formula of cosine uh, D long or difference of longitude multiplied by tangent latitude vertex, which is 54 degrees and 17 minutes 25 seconds. So, upon the calculation cosine 36 degrees, 99 minutes and 40 seconds. Multiply by tangent 48, uh, 54 degrees 17 point or 17 minutes and 25 seconds inverse tangent, then you will come up with the value of x or latitude x. And in its row, you will calculate the latitude x. Upon the completion of calculation of these latitudes, x, now you can, now you are ready to plot in your Mercator chart or your chart. No? The interval position and waypoints on this problem. Okay, I hope you learned a lot from our topic. Thank you for watching. And good day.